press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students. In the last class we discuss first principle method for trigonometric functions. One trigonometric function I left. I give one homework for you. I think some of the guys you already do it. Today I saw first that function. The function is which one? Cosecant x. Correct? f of x is equal to cosecant x. Somebody already solved I think and they find already the derivative of cosecant x. If you are not solved, don't worry, observe here. f of x is equal to cosecant x function. Same method what we follow in the previous class. So, f of x plus h, f of x plus h cosecant, cosecant x plus h. Wherever x we substitute x plus h. And write the first principle method formula, we know that we know that f dash of x f dash of x is a limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h divided by h correct so substitute the values if i substitute the values limit h tends to 0 cosecant cosecant x plus h minus cosecant x whole divided by h. So, what we follow the previous problem secant x same method I followed here ok. So, firstly what we do reciprocal of cosecant is sin <coughs> h tends to 0 1 by sin of x plus h minus 1 by sin x whole divided by h whole divided by h this is the first method after this one taking the lcm taking the lcm so limit h tends to 0 if i take the lcm which one sin of x plus h sin of x plus h into sin x, denominator h as it is, sin of x plus h, sin of x plus h get cancelled, here numerator is sin x minus, sin x, sin x get cancelled, 1 into sin of x plus h is sin of x plus h, sin of x plus h, <coughs> that is equal to limit h tends to 0. h into sin of x plus h sin x sin of x plus h into sin x say observe here it is in the form of sin c minus sin d sin c minus sin d so you know that since sin c minus sin d in the trigonometric function transformation formula already you know this one two cos c plus d by 2 into sin into sin c minus d by 2 to cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 so this term i treated as c and this term i treated as d to cos to cos c x plus x plus h divided by 2 correct to cos c plus d by 2 into sin into sin c minus d x minus of x plus h divided by 2 divided by 2 to cos c plus d by 2 into sin c minus d by 2 ok so simplify it limit h tends to 0, h tends to 0, h into sin of x plus h into sin x, 2 cos 
टू कॉस एक्स प्लस एक्स टू एक्स प्लस एच डिवाइडेड बाय टू इनटू साइन सी प्लस एक्स एंड माइनस एक्स गेट कैंसल प्लस इनटू माइनस एच माइनस एच सो माइनस एच बाय टू माइनस एच बाय टू साइन ऑफ माइनस थीटा साइंस साइन ऑफ साइन ऑफ माइनस थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा करेक्ट साइन ऑफ माइनस थीटा व्हाट माइनस साइन थीटा सो राइट हियर सो दैट इज इक्वल टू लिमिट H tends to zero. H tends to zero. Minus two are right outside because sine of minus theta minus theta that minus are right outside. Two cos two x plus h by two sine h by two whole divided by sine of x plus h into sine x. Into h, multiply and divide it by two. Multiply and divide by two. So two, two, what? Get cancel. This is one function, and this is another function. This one is one function. We separate into two parts. Limit h tends to zero. Limit h tends to zero. See, we separate into two parts. Limit h tends to zero minus cos. 2x plus h by 2 whole divided by sine of x plus h into sine x. This is one part. This is f of x into limit h tends to zero sine h by 2 divided by h by 2. Another part. So this is one. Why it is one? Since limit theta tends to zero, sine theta divided by theta is equal to one. So that is equal to. And one more, as h tends to zero, h by two also tends to zero. Minus cos two x. Plus zero by two whole divided by sine of x plus zero sine x two two what get cancel two two get cancel just simply minus cos x divided by sine x into sine x see minus cos x. Cos x divided by sin x. Cos x divided by sin x is cot x. One by sin x is cosecant x. So minus cosecant x into cot x. We got the result. We got the result. What if y is equal to cosecant x? Y is equal to cosecant x. Then dy by dx dy by dx what minus cosecant x into cot x if y is equal to if y is equal to what cosecant x if y is equal to cosecant x dy by dx derivative of cosecant x very important derivative of cosecant x is Minus cosecant x into cot x. Observe the proof very carefully. This six trigonometric function is finished up. So very very important six trigonometric function for first principle method. Observe observe this proof very carefully. So very important to proof.
So we write uh, all the formulas first. Number one, very important. If y is equal to sin x, then dy by dx cos x. Correct? Derivative of sin x is cos x. Second one, if y is equal to cos x, then dy by dx minus sin x. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Third one, if y is equal to tan x, then dy by dx is secant square x. Correct? dy by dx is secant square x. Fourth one, if y is equal to cot x, then dy by dx minus cosecant square x minus cosecant square x. If y is equal to secant x, then dy by dx secant x into tan x. The last result, just now we discuss if y is equal to cosecant x, then dy by dx minus cosecant x into cot x. These are all six trigonometric functions. Six trigonometric functions. In this one, see observe here, this one, if y is equal to cos x, dy by dx is minus sin x. If y is equal to cot x, dy by dx is minus cosecant square x. If y is equal to cosecant x, dy by dx is minus cosecant x into cot x. Correct. See, observe here. Very important one point, one tricky point. Which one, sir? Alphabet C, alphabet C, alphabet C. Correct. If in the trigonometric function, if alphabet C is present, first alphabet C present, then the derivative is minus sign. If alphabet C present, their derivatives start from negative sign. Cos, first alphabet C cos, their derivative is minus negative. Cot, first alphabet C, their negative is minus. Cosecant, alphabet C, first one, their derivative is minus sign. What my point is, this is a tricky point, not standard one, okay. If the alphabet C first present, their derivative start from negative sign. See sign positive, tan positive, secant positive. Only the thing is cos, cot, cosecant, their derivative start from negative sign. This is tricky, you remember always. Okay, where negative present? The negative present only when the derivative of the alphabet start from C, cos, cot, cosecant. And you remember all these bar formulas, that is very important. Derivative of sin x, you practice, write, write, write many times, then only it is perfect. Derivative of cot x minus cosecant square x, derivative of secant x, secant x into tan x, derivative of tan x, secant square x, like that. If you work, then only you are remembering. Derivative of cot x minus cosecant square x, derivative of secant x, secant x into tan x, derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x into cot x. These are all six trigonometric functions. We continue. Next principle formulas. So, for first PUC, first principle formulas only trigonometric functions okay so now i discuss derivative of e to the power x it is not in first puc it is in second puc topic but this formula is very important 
it is not in first few syllables it is not in first few syllables it is in second few syllables if you remember the formula then it is very easy and this proof is not asked in first few see suppose if may ask it is in second few see okay so we discuss this one also okay some more functions are there if of x a power x log x it's like that so those are in second few see but they are very important that's why we discuss now only okay so f of x is equal to e power x so what we do we find the derivative of e power x f of x plus h a to the power x plus h so then same method that's why I take this one limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h that is equal to substitute the values limit h tends to 0 e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x divided by h e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x divided by h so limit h tends to 0 take e power x comma e power x e to the power h minus 1 divided by h divided by h if e power x i take common e power x into e power h so e power x if i take common it left e power h minus 1 divided by h separate into two limits limit h tends to 0 h tends to 0 e power x one function in limit h tends to 0 e power h minus 1 divided by h this result is also one one more formula in limit that you don't know but one more formula is there since limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 divided by x if it is present like this x tends to 0 x x the result is 1 the result is 1 x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is 1 like that h tends to 0 this is one more formula in the limit h tends to 0 e power h minus 1 by h it is a 1 here answer is e power because h is not present if h is present we substitute only x is present e power x into 1 so answer is e power x answer is e power x then what is the conclusion if y is equal to e power x so here h present then only we substitute here x we cannot substitute here h tends to 0 wherever h present we substitute 0 so otherwise keep as it is if y is equal to e power x then then one more formula dy by dx derivative of e power x derivative of e power x is what e power x only if y is equal to e power x remember this one this formula also remember very important you learn now only no problem then it is very easy for second view see derivative of e power x derivative of e power x is what e power x derivative of derivative of what e power x derivative of e power x is e power x understand next one one more one more formula so this formula is also very important in second puc it is not in first puc okay it is not in first puc one more formula f of x is equal to a power x a is not equal to 0 it is a constant it is not in first puc syllabus okay it is in second puc syllabus f of that's why i write second puc but it is very important you learn now only no problem f of x is equal to a power x same procedure means we are finding the derivative of a power x a is a constant and not equal to 0 so f of same procedure x plus h a to the power x plus h 
a to the power x plus h. Then write the formula. We know that f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 x plus h minus f of x divided by h and that is equal to limit h tends to 0 a to the power x plus h minus a to the power x divided by h a to the power x plus h minus a to the power x divided by h. Same method what we follow in the heap of x. You take a power x common. Limit, limit h tends to 0. If I take a power x common, a power h minus 1 divided by h. a power h minus 1 divided by h by theory of indices. So we separate into two limits limit h tends to 0 a power x 1 into limit h tends to 0 a power h minus 1 divided by h a power h minus 1 divided by h one more limit formula that you don't know that's why I derive here because of these formulas also you know the formula is limit x tends to 0 a to the power x minus 1 divided by x. A to the power x a is a constant. A to the power x minus 1 divided by x. So, this answer is log a to the base e, logarithmic function. Log a to the base e. Suppose, for example, 2 to the power x minus 1 by x is there. Log 2 to the base e. So, this one. Here it is, h is not present, write a power x as it is into. This answer is comparing this to result, comparing this to result log a to the base e. The conclusion is therefore one more formula. If y is equal to what? a power x. If y is equal to a power x, derivative of a power x, then dy by dx dy by dx is a power x into log a to the base e derivative of a power x derivative of a power x is a power x into log a to the base e if y is equal to a power x if y is equal to a power x then Derivative of a power x, suppose if you want for example, for example, suppose if y is equal to 2 to the power x, if y is equal to 2 to the power x, then, then dy by dx, dy by dx, 2 to the power x into log 2 hit to the base e, 2 to the power x into log 2 to the base e. This is the very important formula, one more derivative of e power x is e power x derivative of a power x derivative of a power x is a power x into log a to the base e for example 2 power x derivative of 2 power x is 2 power x into log 2 one more formula so remember this one also next one more formula One more formula for second view. See, it is not in first view. See, one more function. F of x is equal to log x. F of x is equal to what? Log x. Means, now we are finding the derivative of log x. 
very important the derivative of log x see f of x plus h same procedure log and the, the base is e okay log x plus h to the base is e same what we follow in the previous problems same procedure so this this formula is also not in first poc it is in second poc that's why i write second poc so we know that we know that f dash of x limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h that is equal to limit h tends to 0 log log x plus h minus log x whole divided by h whole divided by h you know one formula in logarithmic function in the physics class they may told one log one formula which one log m minus log m log m divided by n log m minus log n log m minus log n log m divided by n this is m and this is n okay so that is equal to means all right since log m minus log n log m by n so limit h tends to 0 log m x plus h by n x whole divided by h whole divided by h okay we simplify this one limit h tends to 0 1 divided by h into log x x get cancelled 1 plus h divided by x we write like this both are same this one and this one both are same 1 by h log 1 plus h by x for this one what i do limit h tends to 0 observe here multiply by x to balance divided by x what i do here multiply and divided by x x x it cancel same one batch no problem correct so into log 1 plus h divided by x 1 plus h divided by x so so i rearrange this term limit h tends to 0 1 by x into h divided by x into log of 1 plus not not h by x sorry x divided by h log of 1 plus h by x correct so one more formula in logarithmic function n log m is nothing but log m to the power n n log m one more formula n into log m we can return as log m to the power n this is n this whole term is m limit h tends to 0 1 by x log 1 plus h by x whole to the power x by h whole to the power x by means n log m log m to the power n n log m log m to the power n observe here we separate into limits 1 by x limit h tends to 0 1 plus sorry log 
वन प्लस एच बाय एक्स होल टू द पावर वन बाय एच बाय एक्स वो तार सेम डिनामिटर ऑफ डिनामिटर गोस्टो टू हमारे इटर एक्स बाय एच आई थिंक वी लेफ्ट इट सो व्हाई आई राइट लाइक दिस वन मोर फॉर्मूला इन लिमिट्स वन मोर फॉर्मूला इन लिमिट्स व्हिच वन सर सी दैट साइंस लिमिट x tends to zero log one plus x whole to the power one by x it is one. Remember x tends to zero x tends to zero log one plus x whole to the power one by x. This complete this complete. See observe here h tends to zero in the place of. H tends to zero. No doubt, H by X also tends to zero by X is zero only, not affected. So compare this one. H tends to zero log one plus complete this term. I treat it as X. One by X. Answer is answer is one. So here H is not there. Write as it is. One by X into one. So answer is. One by x. So answer is one by x. What is the conclusion? Very important. One more formula. If y is equal to what? Log x. Then dy by log x to the base e. Very important. Dy by dx is one by x. Derivative of derivative of log x. Very important. Derivative of log x is what? One by x. Derivative of derivative of what? Log x. Derivative of log x is one by x. Derivative of log x. Three formula I discuss. First one is derivative of e power x. E power x. Derivative of a power x. A power x into log a. Third one is derivative of log x is what 1 by x one more See, observe here. So, three formula I discuss. First one is if y is equal to e to the power x, then e power x. E to the power x. A power x log a to the bc. If y is equal to log x to the base e, base must be e only. Okay, then dy by dx is one by x. These are three formulas not in first few C syllabus. It is in second few C syllabus. Very important. You perfect now only, no problem. It is very easy for second POC. If y is equal to e power x, derivative of e power x is e power x. If y is equal to a power x, derivative of a power x is a power x into log a. If y is equal to log x to the base e, derivative of log x is what? One by x. Derivative of log x is one by x. Okay. Some more formulas are there. Those formulas also we discuss. So some more formulas. It is not in first POC. These formulas are in second POC. So inverse.
in mass. Inverse trigonometric functions. So all six trigonometric functions are there: sin x, cos x, tan x, cosecant x, secant x, cot x. Inverse trigonometric function means: see, observe here. If y is equal to sin x, it is a trigonometric function. Suppose if I write y is equal to s i n. to the power minus 1 x it is not equal to 1 by sin x remember because you know a power n is 1 by a okay it is not equal to 1 by sin x so it is a symbol it is a symbol to denote inverse trigonometric functions it is a symbol it is a symbol to denote inverse trigonometric function this we call it as what inverse trigonometric function so y is equal to cos inverse x y is equal to tan inverse x y is equal to cot inverse x y is equal to secant inverse x and the last one y is equal to cosecant inverse x so all these all these functions all these functions are called what inverse trigonometric functions sin inverse x cos inverse x tan inverse x cot inverse x secant inverse x and cosecant inverse x these are all not in first pc okay you remember very important and these are all in second pc better learn now only no problem y is equal to sin inverse x cos inverse x they are not equal to 1 by sin x 1 by cos x 1 by tan x like that because these are all nothing but we are where we write minus 1 in the power minus 1 so these are all the symbol symbol to denote what inverse trigonometric functions now what we do we find one by one the derivatives means firstly we find the derivative of sin inverse x derivative of cos inverse x derivative of tan inverse x derivative of cot derivative of secant inverse x derivative of cosecant inverse x okay so so these are all not in first pc okay these are all in second pc so that's why i write second pc inverse trigonometric functions second pc inverse trigonometric function first one y is equal to sin inverse x means now i finding the derivative of sin inverse x so not using first principle method very simple method see observe here y is equal to sin inverse x i shift the sign from right side to left side it becomes sin y equal to x sin y is equal to x okay so this is one formula suppose y is equal to cos theta you shift cos theta just only cos from right side to left side it becomes what cos inverse of y is equal to theta like that this is one formula so you perfect in second pc no problem so simply observe here what i do here sin inverse i shift from right side to left side it becomes sin y is equal to x sin y is equal to x okay so differentiate with respect to y not x because y is a dependent variable x is an independent variable differentiate with respect to x so you know since y is equal to sin x dy by dx differentiate with respect to x cos x here y we have to differentiate with respect to what x x we have to differentiate with respect to y sin y means derivative of sin x is cos x 
Derivative of sin y is cos y. Just simply cos y. Y means dy by dx. X means dx by dy. Y with respect to x. Observe here. Very important. Is equal to dy by dx. What we follow in the previous all the y with respect to x dy by dx. If you write ulta x with respect to y, that is nothing but ulta means dx by dy. But my point y with respect to x dy by dx. Suppose if you want write here that implies x is equal to sin x is equal to sin. See y with respect to x dy by dx. Got my point? If I write ulta x with respect to y, x with respect to y means this also ulta, dx by dy. x and y differentiate with respect to y. y with respect to x, x with, x with respect to y, we link this one x with respect to y means dx by dy. Left side what? dx by dy. Sin y becomes cos y because since y is equal to sin x, you know already dy by dx cos x. dx by dy cos y. dx by dy cos y. Next. Next one. What I do, I reciprocal this one. If I reciprocal this one, dx by dy becomes what? dy by dx. Because I want dy by dx, not dx by dy. So, if you reciprocal in LHS, 1 by dx by dy, denominator of denominator goes to numerator, it becomes dy by dx. In the RHS, 1 by cos y. Correct. 1 divided by cos y. Since you know the trigonometric function, very well known, sin square theta plus cos square theta, identity, standard identity, it is 1. Sin square cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. Cos theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. Cos theta is equal to what? Square root of 1 minus sin square theta. That implies dy by dx, not dx by sorry, dy by that implies dy by dx is equal to 1 divided by. In place of cos y, I write 1 minus sin square y. In place of cos y, Alright, 1 minus sin square y, sir. Sin y is what? X. Alright, here, observe here. That is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. Why? Sin y is equal to x. Since sin y is equal to x. Sin y is equal to x. So, we got the result. Very well, important result. We got result if if y is equal to y is equal to observe here y is equal to sin inverse x then then dy by dx 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square first trigonometric Inverse trigonometric function, not trigonometric. First, inverse trigonometric function. If y is equal to sin inverse x, y is equal to what? Sin inverse x, then dy by dx, 1 by root of what? 1 minus x square. 1 divided by square root of, 1 divided by square root of, 1 minus x square. Next, trigonometric function.
नेक्स्ट इनवर्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन y इज इक्वल टू कॉस इनवर्स x साइन इनवर्स x ओवर 1 बाय रूट ऑफ 1 माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर सेम प्रोसीजर व्हाट वी फॉलो इन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम वी शिफ्ट कॉस फ्रॉम राइट साइड टू लेफ्ट साइड R cos y differentiate with respect to y dx by dy minus sin y y because since y is equal to cos x dy by dx minus sin x correct y is equal to cos x y is equal to cos x dy by dx is what minus sin x dx by dy minus sin y that implies minus 1 divided by sin y i do reciprocal what i follow in the previous problem what i follow in the previous problem same method reciprocal it 1 by dx by dy observe here 1 divided by reciprocal i want dx by dy correct denominator of denominator goes to numerator it becomes what dy by dx in the numerator in the rhs side minus 1 by sin y since sin square theta plus equal to 1 correct square root of 1 minus cos square theta so dy by dx minus 1 divided by 1 minus cos square y see observe here cos y is nothing but x dy by dx minus 1 divided by 1 minus x square Minus one divided by one minus one divided by root of one minus x square. So we derive one more formula, one more inverse trigonometric function, one more inverse trigonometric function. Which one is if y is equal to if y is equal to cos inverse x, then dy by dx. Minus one divided by one minus x bar. Minus one divided by one minus x bar. So for remember is also very easy. I write one more. If y is equal to just now we discuss sine inverse x. Then dy by dx one divided by root of one minus x bar. Observe these two results carefully. observe these two results carefully the term is same 1 by 1 minus x square 1 by 1 minus x square only the thing is so what i told if alphabet c present minus c observe here alphabet c present that's why minus result is same 1 by root of 1 minus x square 1 by root of n minus x square sin inverse x cos inverse x derivative is same only the different is only the different thing is in the cos inverse x it is minus in the sin inverse x it is plus if c present derivative is minus understand so two trigonometric function we finish off two sorry two inverse trigonometric function we finish off one is sin inverse x another one is cos inverse x same method same method same method we follow the third inverse trigonometric function third inverse trigonometric function
tan inverse x. If y is equal to what? Tan inverse x. Same procedure, we shift tan inverse from right side to left side, tan y equal to x r. Differentiate, differentiate with respect to y dx divided by dy secant square y correct secant square y since y is equal to tan x dy by dx secant square x if y is equal to y is equal to what tan x y is equal to tan x dy by dx is secant square x. Again reciprocal. Correct. What we follow? Last two problems, same procedure. dy by dx is 1 by secant square y. Since tan square theta or else we read directly. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to what? Secant square theta. Correct. 1 plus 1 plus tan square theta. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. dy by dx. 1 divided by 1 plus tan square y. 1 divided by 1 plus tan square y. So, dy by dx, 1 divided by tan y is what? x, 1 plus x square, dy by dx, 1 divided by 1 plus x square. One more result, therefore, therefore, if y is equal to, if y is equal to tan inverse x, then dy by dx 1 divided by 1 plus x square dy by dx what 1 divided by 1 plus x square see the procedure same what we follow the previous two problems next function tan inverse x is over tan inverse x is over fourth one y is equal to cot inverse x y is equal to what cot inverse x same procedure what we follow in the previous problem p shift cot y is equal to x correct cot y is equal to x or x is equal to cot y differentiate dx divided by dy minus cosecant square y minus cosecant square y y sines dy by dx minus cosecant square x minus cosecant square x if y is equal to cot x correct y is equal to cot x dy by dx is what minus cosecant square x reciprocal dy by dx dy by dx minus 1 divided by 
cosecant square y correct minus 1 divided by minus 1 divided by cosecant square y since cosecant square theta One plus cot square theta. Cosecant square theta is what? One plus cot square theta. Minus one divided by one plus cot square y. Minus one divided by one plus cot square y. Because cot y is equal to x. That implies. Plus x square therefore if y is equal to cot square x then dy by dx minus 1 divided by 1 plus x square if y is equal to y is equal to cot square x y is equal to cot square x then then dy by dx dy by dx minus 1 divided by minus 1 divided by 1 plus x square see if y is equal to tan inverse x then dy by dx 1 divided by 1 plus x square observe these two results only the difference is minus sign c alphabet c present first alphabet c present that's why is minus so i left only two trigonometric function two inverse trigonometric function one is secant inverse x correct another one is cosecant inverse x so i given homework for you better you try to find the derivative of secant inverse x as well as the derivative of cosecant inverse x both the result is same only thing is this result is negative because alphabet c is present first alphabet c is present that's why it is negative okay i left to you okay if not finding the answer then no problem in the next class I derive secant inverse x as well as cosecant inverse x. Thank you.